Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Ronfrat Bavarian and I guess we're going feudal in this episode. I am King Elgar of Konachta and uh, it's been tough, I'll be honest with you, it's been tough primarily because it's so difficult to declare a war when you're a, a f uh, not a feudal ruler but a, you know, a tribal or a high tribal ruler. It is so damn difficult and I want to change this, or not really change it, rather I want to correct it a bit by uh, making it so that we just are feudal and hopefully don't need all that prestige nonsense anymore, then we can go on and actually get it done. You know, that would be very beneficial when it comes to becoming uh, the reformer and high chief of Ireland. Ir. Ir. Alright, we got another daughter, that's okay. You just challenged me to a fight and I defeated you, you cowards. How dare you attack me in the first place? How dare you? Right, I should probably raise those to raid with but I will tell you, I will tell you the following. We are going to probably actually adopt it this time. Alright, let me let me just upgrade this and then we're gonna do the layered hill fort. It's not that long actually, the layered hill fort is fairly short. When it comes to a build up, usually it's like, you know, 900 days. This one is only 462, that's fine. Oh, and they are not happy about that offering, huh? Oh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Why can't I build you? There you go. Easy, let's build it up. Alright. Let's build it up and right after Oh I need I actually need absolute tribal organization. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I can't even do that. I actually can't even do that. Okay. Um I guess. So there's still still the same thing where everybody owes a favor to King Wait, not you. To who? Is he just an advisor? I don't even have an advisor. Oh no, it is King Amla, Amlaib of Brevna, and he is an advisor. And he makes everybody hate us. Because, well, you know, he did owe us a favor, but he didn't owe us a favor enough to actually like doing what we wanted him to do. And um, I would enjoy it if I found somebody, just, you know, a yes man. He's loyal, he's, he's doing a good job there. What if I were to upgrade this? Alright, let me just take a quick look here. I need some people... Let's sell me some favors or give me, you know, just general council support. But I have a feeling that most of them will probably not actually be doing this. Yeah, alright, wonderful. You will say yes. You know what? I'm actually gonna rebel against me, I dare you. You cowards. You don't have the balls to rebel against me. I'm gonna get rid of every single one of you, you hear me? How are we doing? Still just one. Oh my god. Oh, why? How dare you? Alright, I'm gonna take that, I guess. <laughs> Send to my wife, buddy. Alright, you are helping me now. You know what? I'm gonna ask one more of you. You think I care? You think... Why are you not helping me? You are my heir, my friend. What do you mean, conflicting interests? Ah, oh, this is a... Uh, something else, man. That's all I can say. I'm gonna give it to Muradok, and then I'm gonna give Murada some money, and then I'm gonna ask you, hey, thank you. There you go. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually push through the tribal organization. Good. Wait, what do you mean three out of four? Didn't I have three people? Oh, I totally didn't. Oh, no. Why didn't you... Alright, they have approved of it. Let's go. And just like that, we need one more, actually. And legalism three. Oh. I hate it. Alright, so we have ten years where we can farm some stuff. And then I need legalism. And for legalism, of course, I will need research. Dignify religion. Council of Theologists summoned. Have your high priest lead a religious delegation to discuss matters of faith with philosophers from all the known world. The gathering will increase our religion's authority and reduce the influence of heresies and other faiths. Who gives a crap? Don't need that right now. We might want to study... Hmm. We might want to study some, but I'll also tell you... Not really that interested in it. Ooh. From vassals? Wait a minute. What do you mean from vassals? Oh, because you're a high tribal, is this true? Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think that's how it works. Who's giving me all of these vassals? Who is this? Where are they coming? Where are they coming from? From everywhere. Oh, that's interesting. Oh! 
Oh, is that this law? It might be. Yeah, okay. You know what? We're going to do it in this episode. I pledge that we will become feudal in this episode. It might destroy us, but so be the world. You know, sometimes you gotta destroy yourself to actually win the game. That's how it goes. Stop giving me these nonsense events. Ah, through just ruling and worthy sacrifices, it seems you have managed to calm the spirit that lay, uh, spirits that lay siege to our lands. The freemen will now be able to completely dedicate themselves again to the support of your rule. Thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it indeed. Right, you can become a part of the raiding force here. And I raise ships with this now. Oh, let's go, boys. Oh, we're ready. It's actually time to go siege things that are not at home. Yo, we're actually doing this. Let's go, boys. I'm ready. I'm ready and so should you be. It'll take a lot of attrition here, I fear, but it's all going to be worth it. The conquest of Provence, so they actually did it. The absolute madmen. The Romans have been ousted. And here we are. All right, let's, let's get this done. This is actually good. Hold the divination, sure. Why wouldn't you? We got all of the prisoners in the world. You got us some gold. You didn't. You cowards. Nobody's rebelling even now. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Good God. That's a terrible thing, actually. Those numbers. I hate them. The guests have arrived. All right, let's do it. Where's uh, the blessed uh, virgin, by the way? Did you... Have you seen her anywhere? Because I haven't. Alright, at least this aids us in a pretty good way. I wish we got rid of the pox. Feel better. Glory to the gods. And where's the blessed virgin, by the way? I miss her. Why don't you go down there? Hey, I meant, why don't you go down there? Thank you. Let's get it done. Brilliant strat uh, br Brilliant money man. I don't actually know what his title is. They're brilliant money manager, money lender. Not certain. Um, probably belongs there. Take him all out, dude. That's what I'm here for. You hear me? You're saying I can't siege something? You cows. You don't. You don't believe this, do you? All of you. No, you know what? Actually, not all of you. <laughs> Just some of you. I. I desire that you aid this good man. Wait, you can't raid? Oh, I'm an idiot. All of me on where? Um, Southern Britain. Ah, the West Sex is expanding. Just a tiny bit, but it's enough to, you know, make an impression at the very least. Right, go down there. Let's deal with that. And we got it. Good. Siege, siege, siege. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing fine. Now that we're actual raiders with boats and everything. I think it came because of the tribal authority here. But now that we are this, I feel good about this. I don't like any of this, but you know, they're not really doing anything against me as of right now. So why would I mind? Why would I mind indeed? If they do rebel, I think I can fight him. I'll be honest with you. I think I can fight him. I'm not even kidding. I genuinely believe this to be a general truth. What do you do here? Moral of armies is always so, so good. But then again, the levy size here, dude. Let's do it. Levy size, absolutely. They will, they're cowards. They will not rebel against me. I can already tell you this. Maybe, I mean, maybe they will rebe rebel against me. But you know what? I will stand my ground. Absolutely. I will never, ever. I, I will be proud. Yeah, I will pay this, this rider. Sure. I will never ever be destroyed by these fools. Offer some more and they accepted it. Wonderful. Alright, get raided you son of a gun. This is what you get. Being not Irish. We got uh, 167 and a good amount of prestige. This is the golden time because now I can actually make it so that I can take these fellas apart and get huge amounts of prestige. It also means that we are raiding a whole lot of enemy temples. Over here I was raiding our own temples, but over here we will be raiding enemy temples. This is straight up the perfect occasion to ever happen. And the Welsh, you know what? You abandon our faith, you're next. You're next, buddy. Imagine abandoning your faith. How dare you, first of all. How dare you. 
This is not how this was supposed to be. Uh, it is a banshee. I've seen the banshees a million times. I know they exist. Multiple of my characters have seen them independent of one another. I dare say it is a banshee. I have the nuts to say that it is a banshee. Oh, and they are very unhappy these days. Independence, huh? It's never gonna happen. You hear me, you cowards? You're never gonna do it. You're too afraid to do it. You know, it's just bluffing. If they do do it, we're fucked. Like, we are actually absolutely devastatingly destroyed. Um, letter rod, who are you? Henry of Queeb. Ah. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna leave you be. I'm also, though, trying to sell you. So if you got the money, I mean, freedom is yours. Alright, we got some more money from all of this, which is very, very nice. Let's build up the hills of Tara. Let's do it. Here you go. You, what? You are being repaired. What's the progress here? 0.5%. That's gonna be a long ass time. Oh, this is nice. This is so good. I fully endorse all of this. You know what? I'm not yet done. I think we're gonna get Brittany as well. As I said, in this episode, we're gonna do all of this. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna become feudal if I can. Which I probably will be able to do. We're gonna pull it all off. There's sickness here. Oh, it's just minor depopulation. Lol, don't care. Oh, this is actually like an actual Romano-British man. Won't be in a second, but as of right now, that's what he is. Oh, and we got him, boys. It has been done. Lock them all up. Uh, leave him there. That's okay. Easy money. Take it all down, dude. That is what I'm here for. Are you full? Almost. People will probably dislike uh, like me for raising their fleets, but I think that's okay. Honestly, I'll take the raid over, you know, people being happy with me. I don't care. Oh, let's go. This prestige. The, the prestige, my man, is flowing. Let me tell you, it is flowing. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is wonderful. All right, we are now at 2,000. I want to be at 3,000 so that I can do some subjugation wars. And uh, then we should be good to go. I mean, all of these people hate me. I don't know why they're not rebelling. I will tell you that much. I have no idea. I'm still a weak ruler, minus 60. You know, we've, we've all seen this. We have a large realm and all that jazz. But I honestly, I don't feel too bad about it. If we only had the legalism, which we currently do not have, that is the biggest, biggest issue for me right now. If we got to deal with that, wouldn't that be wonderful? Show me where legalism is big, please. Ah, wonderful. I'm going to send a spy master right... Wait, where was it actually? I'm actually gonna choose you, Orléans. Sure. Hello, dear spy master. Welcome to your new home in Orléans. Alright, if we pull this off here and now and today, I would be the happiest man to ever live. From Nonyeholds land down here, I like it. I'm not gonna go down there, there's sickness currently. Where is the property of this world? Uh, meant to click this button actually. Oh, up here. Oh, some over there. How big are you? Not that big. I'll bring him over here. Hello everyone, it is I. And I must raid you. I think we can deal with him. Absolutely. Oh. I still think we can deal with them. I mean, what are they gonna do? Yeah, they don't have enough troops. You know what? You can stay there for the time being. Oh, and I probably... <laughs> I didn't think about me having to get rid of these troops yet, huh? Well, before you get a stroke, uh, dear viewer, let's just get this done, okay? Alright, all y'all, get in there. And then get over there. Daughter was born to... That's okay. We didn't need a new high priest, huh? She also does hate me, but I think that's okay. How much in technology are we making right now? 0.8. Don't know how good that is. It doesn't sound good enough, I'll be honest with you. We're slightly over... Yeah, we're slightly over the... Can't carry all those at the same time, but that's okay. Young Arthur. Why weren't you here? 
I've received a request for additional funds from my spy master Atka. Hmm. You know what? Let's be a little bit safer. The people of your court are incredulous. Great king, it is a shame that you do not have a druid at court. Sure. All of you are now court druids. My dear friends. I hope don't care for that. Thank you very much, though. Oh. Peasant revolt, boys. It is a peasant revolt. Where are they? Where are they? My old friend. Ah! <laughs> 300. Alright, you know what? Got him. Got him. Alright, let's take care of this. Oh, the war's already over. Oh. Easy. The Plague of Justinian. Oh, Lord. Dreaded pandemic disease known as the Plague of Justinian, which has struck and weakened the Eastern Roman Empire during the past few years, has at, least re uh, at last reached the coasts of Gaul. The terrible plague first broke out in Constantinople in 541 AD, and a few months later it had killed almost half of the city's inhabitants. People fled in terror, spreading the disease to ports around the whole known world. A few days ago, the bubonic plague has claimed its first victim in the province of Ale, and a dark fear is already spreading among the populace of the neighboring lands. This is troubling news, but nothing can be done. The curse of the gods is upon us. We shall offer a great sacrifice, or we should be rational and do what we can to prevent an outbreak. Absolutely not. I will pray. Earlier today, my spy master Atka presented his plan to catch any sneaky spies at court. Yeah, all right, that works out. Not defense. How strong are you? Not strong enough. You will be very sad to hear the news, but you are not that strong, my friend. And that means that I will be moving on from here. Yeah. There you go. Siege him, boys. Siege him. Take them all out. We had 2.1k already. Um, with what we have here right now, it's a really decent amount of prestige that we will be gaining quite soon. Why are you so slow at sieging? Do you not have a commander? Don't. I need a good siege leader. Didn't I train somebody? Apparently not. That's disappointing. You. I don't know. Warfare, I guess. We are the original Vikings, let me tell you. We are the original Vikings, indeed. Not the Saxons is what you should fear. It is us. Get out of here with those events. You know, at some point you've seen events so many times, especially in this playthrough. As a tribe, it's so difficult to see di uh, different events. And by the way, honestly the feeling is though high tribal authority with a strong tribal organization already makes it so that we are quasi-feudal. At least it feels like it. Yeah, I definitely want to move towards this one. That sounds excellent to me. Absolutely excellent. I love that none of them, I, and I can't explain it, I can't, I can't explain this. But they are not willing to rebel against me. For some reason, that is not known to me, but they do not like rebelling against somebody that would easily be a target for them. For some reason, they just don't want to do it. Alright, let's get them done here. This is the biggest ass thing that I've ever done. And the training grounds have been built, which is excellent. How are you doing? Alright, you know, you're getting there. 16% done. We are sending us 2.26k. I think some more of this would be nice. Let's just upgrade whatever we can. You know, we have one single county. We've always just had one single county, but we have been doing the best that we can. And that we shall continue to do, of course. Ah, thank you. Please give me cultural advance. It was economy advance, you dick. God damn it. All right, I guess I'm gonna move on with those. Sure. Ah, that makes me mad. I need this, dude. I really need that tech. And you know it. You know I do need it. But yeah, I mean, this is the story that they don't tell in the history books. Real Vikings? You might not have known this. But they're from Ireland. The Norse? They wouldn't even know how to have a boat. Are you crazy? Build a great pillar. We could. Of course. Look at this, we're at 50! Because I looted so many infidel temples. It's so damn good. I just wish, I really wish I could take this stuff. Actually, you know what, with all the rating, we might be able to go to 2. Point, uh, to 5k, actually, that's what I meant to say there. To 5k uh, prestige and just conquer this. And then we'd be done with it. 
And we could reform the religion. That would be super cool. Uh, I will stay and fight. They might hurt me. I might even die. But you know what? Just lost a leg. Amazing. Hey, that, that is such a random event. There's so many random... If there was one thing about this mod where I'm like, you know, this is kind of dumb. It's all these random events that don't do anything in particular except... Hey, you want an injury, buddy? Sometimes I say yes to the injury. Why wouldn't I? You know, it's a, it's a challenge. Hey, don't be a coward. How are you doing here? Um, how's the plague doing? That's the that's the bigger question. Look at that plague of Justinian is coming. Oh boy. Um, I think what we're gonna be doing here. I'm gonna split you one more time. I'm gonna send you over there. Very nice. All right. We are now under three thousand as well, which means that we can actually have them all on the boat, which was kind of the end goal, I guess. Open the doors. No. Thank you. <laughs> How many prisoners do we have? 51 prisoners. Give me the money. Give me the money. But yeah, I mean, it, I think it makes a lot of sense for this character to be really dedicated to keeping his power, to becoming a well-known ruler, because he is incredibly, incredibly ambitious. Give me a long and healthy life, thank you very much. Um, I will sacrifice this lady. Please accept my offering. We have peace for now. Thank you. Thanks for all the money on the way. And that's quite nice. We're also building up the Hill of Tara, of course. Yearly cost 23, Jesus. We're literally just living off the raiding. Uh, it makes a lot of sense, though. That does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Alright, let's take a look at this. All of those pay ransom, which is nice. Give me the good tech. Ah, my economy! I need legalism! God damn it, dude. I just need legalism. If we just get legalism, dude, that is all I am asking for. You hear me? Just give me the good old legalism. All right, you're done there. That's acceptable. And siege this down. Thank you very much. It's still sieging. Oh, I'm dead. All of this. All of this. I'm so damn mad, dude. You don't even know how mad I am. Ugh, okay. Was unable to show his face in public. Death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. A wise and learned man, progress and innovation is expected under his rule. Here we are. Still building this up. Still a lot of money, less prestige. Obviously still everybody hates us. Not as much as they hated our earlier ruler, but everybody still hates us. At least I can do this sooner. As soon as we get legalism here okay as soon as we get legalism we can change this nobody supports this of course when do they ever i'm gonna put some people on the council here that actually like me a good spy master is always important it's a very very basic thing i need you to study in orleans that's orleans can it be here somewhere am i blind Soissons. Yo, I am actually blind. Uh, legalism. There it is. Alright, I, I was looking too far north, I guess. Alright, you can do what you're doing. Uh, you build legend, thank you very much. <sighs> you know, things only were so easy. Let's keep raiding. And our... Yeah, so I assume that High Tribal works in the way where you are essentially looking... That's me. Where you're essentially looking at, um... Go oh, Brevna, next is your turn. Where you're essentially looking at a situation where you already can raise your troops as though they were feudal, even though they are tribal vassals. So I hope that that keeps working like this, because that's not actually a bad thing. Tribal Kinslayer, that's pretty cool. What do you mean? I already... Why do I need to nominate somebody for that? Oh, I am back to holding two of these, huh? Alright, well... Um, my son. Hello, son. I would like to give you the... Uh, this one. Thank you very much. And I also actually feel as though I want to give out one of those. Yes, I will give you this one. Not with my own town, please. Thank you very much. Right. And I'll get you, I guess. Do we have anybody that... Not really. I'll get you. Okay, Spymaster, go down to Orléans yet again. 
might get sick because I just saw that. That's a that's a sick area right now. <laughs> Uh, okay, well the plague of Justinian is coming. We're still raiding here, but I mean what does it what does it mean at this point? And uh, we got a peasant rebel a rebellion. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Set crown focus, absolutely, thank you very much. Raise tribal army, absolutely not. Where even is this? Oh we got another retinue, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to go home though. Like all things considered, right? Somebody joined all factions because they were forced to? What happened? What factions do we have anyway? None of them are relevant to us. Amazing. Alright, here you go. Let's take this down and then we move out. Oh no. Is the plague here? Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. No, I have the cramps. I stayed for too long. Oh no, get out of my country. Eden filth are bringing these plague here. All of them seem to have witnessed indescribable horrors. Hardly and... Uh, hardly and will talk about it at all. What? Hardly any will talk about it at all. The ones that do talk warn others of the coming plague. Right. Let's go home, boys. I already have the cramps. I think it's already too late for me. It's already too late for me. Yeah, fuck. God damn it, dude. Ah, uh, I was there for too long. I'm dead, yeah, that sucks so much. That sucks so much, and now Amlaib is in power and just... <sighs> no, he's actually quite okay. You know what? I'm not gonna complain about him. He's actually quite okay. And I got more retinue. Give me all the retinue in the world. Alright, I need to give this out though, and I'm gonna give it... You know what? Who shall be my heir? Man, the inheritance here comes quick and dirty, but I will tell you that that is perfectly fine. Because even when the inheritance comes quick and dirty, it also does mean, and he's pretty okay if he wasn't uh, not of my dynasty, uh, it always means that we essentially will be in a position of strength afterwards. Not once has it been different, really. There you go. Um, obviously this, need more counselors, god damn it. We're back to the old damn story. You're the advisor, you're gonna be this, then the spy master can be you. You shall go to Orléans. Even though that might mean your death. Not my, uh, not my issue, is it? <laughs> Alright, well, building a hospital here will do nothing. I can already tell you that much. Dignify religion. We're so close. We are so, so close. Once we get... Oh. Oh! Maybe. Then I can't do this because we don't have... Uh, why can't I do this? Does not have the... Okay, until next year. You know what? I'm going to reform. I'm going to do it. We, uh, not the religion, but we're going to reform our government. We will pull it off. King Chabel of Brevna. That's not a bad thing. I'm okay with that. Right, you. Eat him up. Easy. Pause over. Thank you very much. And dissolve all of this stuff. Easy money. Okay, everybody go down. Plague approaches. And it does. Ah, oh, get out of here. Get away from me. Don't like that. Yeah, definitely do not like the plague. I like all of this retinue that we have here. They, you stack it up for free. It's quite nice. It, it really is quite nice. Hmm. Yeah, this plague is terrible. And I was hoping that Ireland might not have had it historically, but apparently they did. <sighs> okay, uh, let's ask some of you guys. I don't even know who you are. Get out of my country. Yeah, okay, so what we need to do, I recognize now what we need to do. We need to upgrade this, and then I'm going to reform. Enter my son immediately, absolutely. We need to reform to feudalism. Because right now, under high tribal ship with a uh, high law there, it actually is quite nice. We get so much levy, it's it's decent. It's very, very nice. They marry, huh? No, thank you. You know what? Break the throw, though. Don't marry that son of a gun. Need a new spy master? Yep, he definitely died over there. That's okay. We're gonna figure it out. That is absolutely okay. Join all their factions, huh? Do it, I dare. How are we doing here? How are we doing here? Who, are, who has persuaded you? King Krimthan the Lugnik 
Primtha, there you are. Advisor, huh? You already have... He's gonna die in a second. Don't worry about it. I'm firing you. Wait, what? Hey, I wanna fire you. No, I wanna... I wanna... Am I going crazy? Okay, I'm gonna buy your favor. I'm gonna buy your favor. We already have one that votes in our favor. Then I'm gonna exchange one of the ones that they have a uh, thing with. I think he just died. The dude that I wanted to revoke from, I think he's dead. Uh, cool and cancel support. Alright, we have two supporters, three supporters. I need one more. There you go. Easy money. Call and cancel support. And that's it. Meaning... We got it. We are going to be feudal. In 30 minutes. Easy money. Easiest money I have ever made. And just like that, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, god damn it, dude. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have seen that. I thought it was just Stonehill Fort. You know, you're probably telling me in the comments. We are so, so, so close. I don't know. I do not know at all why they didn't, you know, start the Civil War. They could have done that in the past. They never did. But I will say thank you to, first of all, uh, first of all them not doing that. And second of all, you for watching this you know it's it's a difficult one because like it's been stagnating a while and we've just raided you know we've worked towards just one thing which is just the conversion but look at this 4k troops all of a sudden a proud number a very very proud number if i may say so myself and just like that i honestly feel as though it's okay everything is fine we we didn't expand or anything but like look at this our faith is very very stable i can't reform it just yet but we will be able to do that in uh, due time yeah, I, I'm going to switch to uh, feudalism in the next episode once we build everything up. And of course, the Justinian Plague is still coming. I will see you in the next episode. I, honestly, this is going better than I expected. I will see you later, alligator.